as you can see, we've laid out our panels. We've got conventional, pervious, we've got our curved edge, which we're still fixing, and we've got our reinforced piece. Uh, right here, we've got our gravel and our sand, our trowel, something to mix with. We've got our reinforcement for that piece. All right, using the ingredients that were off the class lectures, I have gone through and found the calculations for our pervious concrete as being uh, I took the amount per cubic yard divided it by 27 to find the amount per cubic foot and then I multiplied that by our volume of our 12 by 12 by 1.5 inches panels to find that calculation of how much to use and on top of everything I <clears throat> added a 20 percent waste factor uh, I repeated this step for our conventional and did the exact same thing and came out with uh, different results and uh, we're going to continue with our calculations and moving to the next phase of mixing the concrete. Taking the cement to find our first mix of the conventional or of the pervious which is 3.30 that includes canister weight so the cement weight is 3.30 okay so now we've got our uh, water and accounted for the container weight it should be reading at 1.4. So here are our materials laid out for the pervious concrete, including 20% waste. So now we're uh, getting all our aggregates ready for the next three pours. Uh, Tim's getting some sand ready. So uh, here's our reinforcement, um, nothing too big, but we've given it, as you can see, an inch and a half, if not more, uh, coverage on the other side. Uh, and that's just to uh, make sure it's not going to uh, corrode, and we're going to make some chairs for this one. Yeah. These are our homemade chairs. We're about to, uh, I'd say we're going to put some in about halfway up, and then put our reinforcement in, and then cover it all up. Hey, let me get this out. That's pain when we just spread it. Yeah, I'll spread it out. Out there on the center. Okay, so there's the conventional concrete. Here's our pervious, pervious, our curved edge, which you won't be able to see from here right now, and our reinforced. As you can tell, there's a big difference between the pervious and everything else. Standard, conventional. All right, now uh, that we've got all our concrete and our panels, we're going to screw down some uh, bisqueen to help with the curing process. That way, the moisture isn't lost too rapidly. Uh, once it's all put down, we're going to put them inside the building and they're going to be carrying at 74 degrees and in uh, three days we're going to come back and check with them then. Alright, we're here on our third day. Uh, concrete has been fully cured. Uh, we're about to start the process of stripping the forms. You can see um, 
it's kind of, you can see where the plastic laid on top, gave it a rough finish. But uh, we're going to remove the form and see how it turns out. Let me look on that side. Oh, it's good on that side. Our force first side is off. Again, this is the uh, conventional, regular uh, concrete mix. There's nothing special in this one, just aggregate, sand, uh, cement, and water. There it is. All right, this is our first panel, conventional concrete. Uh, looks pretty good, not too bad. Okay, so now we've uh, taken all four panels out of their forms, and uh, as you can see, we've got our conventional right here, uh, nice and solid. It's got a, the uh, finish wasn't too pretty. We could have could have done something on the wood. Um, here's our reinforced. I think this is probably our best looking panel. Um, you can't see those rebar chairs at all where we put them in. Um, this is our curved edged. Uh, as you can see, did a pretty good job job Casey uh, and then here's our pervious we've got a couple spots in here where it seems like cement kind of uh, coupled up but I mean for the most part I'd say it's a pretty good pervious mix okay so this is our pervious panel and now we're gonna make sure it's uh, we'll just check to see it's pervious uh, we hope so but here's our water test as you can see going straight through. Alright, um, when we did the concrete panels we had to do a little research in order to find the correct ratios. Uh, the way in which we found our ratio numbers, uh, we actually used the tables in the PowerPoint slides. Um, in that we saw the conventional concrete and a cubic yardage and then also the pervious concrete and cubic yardage. We took those numbers, broke them down, divided by 27, did our math to find it per panel volume, which is 12 by 12 by one and a half. Um, so that's basically the research we did on the concrete ratios, and uh, you can see they turned out pretty well. So, the conclusion of our four panels, uh, a couple of things that we learned, um, we, we could have done better with a vibrator to lessen the amount of air bubbles. Uh, another thing is maybe form oil uh, to make it a little cleaner edges, uh, help the concrete actually remove from the panels easier. Uh, it was a fun project, we learned a lot, and uh, look forward to doing the bench.